hey beautiful people welcome to Va fashion's youtube channel my name is eunice thank you for clicking on this video i really appreciate so if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly click on the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber this is me saying thank you thank you and thank you again so we're going to be learning how to make this victorian corset with keyhole on the yoke part. I hope this is what you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned while we get right into the tutorial. Okay, okay so to achieve this Victorian corset, I already have my basic bodies pattern drafted out already. This is my front piece. This is the front and this is the back. You can see that the back is shorter with two inches, which is as a result of the difference, which is the bust that okay so i already have my dart intake i took a dart of one inch on both sides having my bust pan of four inches so i took a dart of one inch at the center piece and then one inch on this other side then i connected to the bust point i have my bust line on the bust line the bust line is 10 inches the under bust line is 13.5 and the half length is 17.5 okay so and then i also have my back the back length i have here is 15.5 which is a difference of two inches between the front and the back so now i'm going to adapt this into my victorian corset okay the bust measurement i'm working with is 37 inches when divided by four i have nine and quarter which is what i have here now okay so to tighten my under bust to achieve the contour shape okay the difference between the bust and the under bust is what I'll be using to tighten this part, which is the under bust line. And the under bust measurement is 31 inches. 31 inches divided by 4, that will give me 7 and 3 quarter. And the bust here is 9 and quarter. So 7 and 3 quarter, what's my difference? So I have a difference of 1.5. 9 and quarter minus 7 and 3 quarter, that will give me... 1.5 so i'll be using that 1.5 to tighten the under bust okay so 1.5 i'm going to be placing half inch on the center part and then i'll be placing the remaining one inch on this side you can decide to divide them equally whichever one you want to do that will be fine but in this case i'm going to be placing half inch on this side and then i'll come here to place my remaining one inch on this part okay i'm just going to do three quarter on both sides just so that i can have an even line so 1.5 divided by two that's three quarter and then three quarter on this side so my difference that is 1.5 i divided it by two and i'm placing them on both sides so can you see this is me connecting it to the waistline and then also to the waistline so you can see that it looks straight, okay? So I want to con uh, curve it to the bust point now. So I'll bring in my curve and then, and then connect it. You don't want it to be too curvy. So this is what I have here. Okay, so here, this is what I have. So on the, I'll be looking for the upper chest line. So which is the distance from the boss point to the under boss point. I'll go up by the same distance. So right now I have my 3.5 here. So this is the upper chest line. So I'll mark the nipple to nipple measurement, which is 4 inches here. So I'll connect this line from here upwards this way. So I'm going to be doing a dart intake at this place. This is to avoid gaping on the upper chest line. So I'll come here and take away half inch on this side. And then I'll do the same on this side, half inch also. So you want to use your curved ruler to connect it. Okay. 
So having taken this dart here, I'll come back here to replace it because I'm going to have a shortage if I don't replace back my dart. Okay, so here I'll come here and bring back the one inch. So from this curved part of my arm bone, so I'll bring back the one inch, which is my dart intake. So this is what we have here now. So meaning that the arm bone now will come out word more. Okay, so now remember that we're going to achieve a keyhole on the neckline. So this is what I'll be doing. This neckline, I have a neckline of three inches. So I'm going to be taking that, creating a V shape. So I'll be stopping on the upper chest line. So here on the upper chest line, if you want to know the measurement from here, from the shoulder line to this point, I have 6.5. So I'll be marking my V neckline down to that 6.5. So here is my 6.5. So now I want to achieve a, a keyhole at this point. So I'm just going to come here and get the midpoint. So everything I have here, apart from my dad, I have, or including my dad, I have eight and quarter. So the midpoint of this eight and quarter, that will be four and a bar. So this is where it is. So now that I have my midpoint here, so from this center front, I'm going to come in by 1.5 inches. So here is my 1.5 inches. And then from this part, I'm going to come in by 2.5 inches. Or let me do 3 inches. I don't want the keyhole to be too big. So 3 inches from the armhole point here. Okay. And then I'll go up by 3.5 inches so i'm going up by 3.5 inches at this middle line at this center that i have here so this is it here so let me just connect it so that we can see okay so i want to connect this point so i'm connecting this point now to this point so can you see my triangular keyhole that I have here? I came in here by 1.5 and then from the side here, I went in by 3 inches. So this is where I want to have my keyhole. So meaning that I'll be cutting from this point. So the essence of replacing this 1 inch, that is, by the time you don't replace this that and cut it out, this key, um, your yoke is going to come outwards because it will not balance up. So we need it by the time we sew our dart, we need this part to come back here and then it will match up with our yoke here. I hope that makes sense. So right now we're done with our front. So we're just going to come to the back. Then at this back, at the center back, I'm going to go in by half of an inch. This is to eliminate bulge at the back. Okay, so I'm just going to draw this line all the way to the neckline. This is to eliminate bulge at the spinal cord area, which is the center back. Okay, so I haven't done this. I'm going to be having loops at the back of this dress. So I'm going to go in by, by 1.5 inches or 2 inches, depending on how much space you want to have at the back. So let me do 1.5 inches. So here is my 1.5 inches. So when I do 1.5 inches, that means that I'm going to have three inches because this is one side of the back, of course. So that will be three inches. So this is my 1.5 inches. At the chest line here, I'm going to do 2.5 inches. So this is what this line will look like. Okay. So... I'll go ahead to enter the waist measurement. The waist measurement is 31 inches, 31 divided by 4. Take note, I'm going to be taking my measurement from this part. So for the fact that I removed this half inch does not mean it's not part of my measurement. This is me eliminating bulge. So automatically that means reducing the back measurement in order to eliminate bulge from the back. Our backs are usually smaller than the front. So you don't want it to have that bulge at the back. So the waist divided by four, that's seven and three quarter. So here is my seven and three quarter 
remember i did a dart of two inches which is one inch on both sides so this is me marking back my dart so and the bust measurement i already have my bust measurement which is nine and quarter so you can see what we have here at the back i'm going to have a yoke because i'll be having loops at the down part of the back so i'm going to have a yoke so on this back i'm just going to come down Just going to come down by seven inches from the shoulder line. Seven inches from the shoulder line. And then I'll connect it like this. Okay, so this is what my back yoke is going to look like. So what this means is that this dart leg now will have to extend all the way to this point and also this two inches back will have to go all the way to this point so i'm just going to take my line up and then my dart leg up okay so now that i'm done with the back i'm just going to cut it out so that we see okay i'm using a neck depth of one inch for the back and then this is me cutting out the neck and the shoulder slope then also this side then yeah, I'll trim out this part so this is my back yoke so here I'll cut out this bulge. Okay. So I'll be cutting out this part. Remember, I marked 1.5, and then this is 2.5. So, two and a half. Okay, so I'll be cutting out this part because this is the space I'll have at the back to achieve my loops at the back. Okay, so now go ahead to close my dart back, the upper back to be dartless. So, this is me sewing my dart already. So by closing it, I've sewn my dart. So this is what I'll have in front. I'm sorry, at the back when I am done. So can you see what we'll have? So and then this part just goes all the way to because we'll have two of this part and then I'll have buttons on this area. So can you see what we have? Can you see? So of course I'm going to be cutting out, I'm going to be removing this part. The loops will replace this part. Okay, so let's go ahead to cut out our front pieces. So we're starting from this part also, the arm bone. And then I'll go ahead to cut out the shoulder line. So the V neckline. So I'll go ahead to, to cut this way. Enable me close the boss that I need to cut this part. Okay, so we'll come here to close our boss that. So it's either you cut it open or you go ahead to close it. It's always easier to cut it open. So I'll just cut out my boss that. Okay, so by cutting out my boss that, so I'll blend up my line. So I'll just tape it down and blend up my line. So after taping down my boss that, I'll go ahead to blend up the sides.
Okay, so then I'll cut out this side. So this is me cutting on the new arm bone. Okay, then I'll remove the remaining that I have here. Okay, so can you see what we have? So these are my front pieces. Can you see by the time I sew them together? So can you see them matching up? So which is the essence of replacing that one inch that? Okay, so and then this is what my back pieces will look like. This is just what I need for my back because this part will be replaced by my loops. So what I'll be doing now, place my fabric and cut out the main fabric. So I'll be going, I'm going to be adding sewing allowance here. I'll be adding two inches to my sewing allowance or to this pattern, sorry. And then I'll add half inch here, half inch at this point. I've already added half inch to the length. So I'm just going to add half inch at this point. So I'll do the same thing for this. I'm going to add half inch here, half inch here also, and then half inch on this side. So for this part, so I'm going to be adding half inch round here then of course this will be cut on fold so here too i'll add my two inches for my sewing allowance this part i'll add half inch here half inch here and then the same thing half inches so i'll just place and cut out my fabric main fabric so you can see this is my side piece you can see my sewing allowance of two inches so this is the second side so i have two of this side and then i also went ahead to fuse my um, bra foam to it that's the foam okay this is not normal wording it's the foam and then i also did the same thing to this one attach two one to this side and then one to the other side and then from seam you can see here is my center front so can you see my half inch sewing allowance i also did that on the lining so this is my back piece that's the upper back piece which is the yoke so i've also top stitched my satin to the organza fabric remember it's organza brocade where i use it so it's transparent i use satin don't face satin and then this is my lighting the taffeta okay so the same thing has been done here so this is my back piece so can you see our back piece we have our sewing allowance of two inches i had to cut out a modesty panel which is the fabric i'll be using to cover the back of the client Okay, so it will sew this modesty panel into my into the actual bag. All I need to do now is you notice that my lining, so I will need to slash my lining open so that I can sew this into it so that it just appears like this on the back. So meaning that this lining, by the time I cut this part, I'm going to cut another lining to replace this part. That's by making it whatever it is i cut out let's cut it out now so that i can show us whatever it is i cut out on this side when cutting the main this part now i'm going to make it one inch longer so that that's one inch wider so that it replaces whatever i'm going to lose because i'm going to use half inch and half inch to join them together so that extra one inch is to replace the shortage um, so now it's time for us to stitch our pieces together. I'll be stitching my center front, my side pieces together. As you can see, I'm done stitching them together. And now it's time for me to fix my bonings. You'll fix, I'll be fixing one of the bonings to the center. I'll be using a regulin boning. I'll fix one to the side there. And then I'll also fix another to that side. So all you need to do is to take your measurement, whatever length you have at that point, you subtract one inch from it so that you can have half inch at the upper part and half inch at the down part. This is so that it doesn't go into your seam allowance. If not, folding or eye pressing it will be really difficult. You want it to, you want your bone to start half inch below the neckline. That's the starting point there. And then half inch above the hem there so just this is me taking my measurement so having done that i'll take this to my sewing machine and stitch down my bonings on the bustier so i'm done sewing my bonings you can see i have five boning lines 
two at the side on each of the seam allowances and then one on the middle so I have two on each side and then one in the middle I've also gone ahead to sew my yoke so now it's time for me to fix my lining to the neckline so I'll just be sewing my lining to the neckline as you can see I'm pinning it so once I'm done sewing this I will show us what it looks like okay here we are I fixed my I've sewn my line into the neckline and I've also gone ahead to fix the down part of the gown it's just a basic skirt so it's if you don't know how to draft a basic skirt I'll be dropping the link in the description box so this is just a basic skirt and these are my this is my back piece I'll be you can see how my modesty panel is been neatly sewn everything is looking all neat so all I need to do now is to join the shoulders together and I'll be fixing my sleeve I made a gong sleeve for this outfit and I posted a video on how to make a gong sleeve so in case you don't know how to make a gong sleeve I will be dropping the link also in the description box so that you can check it out if you have watched this video to this point i hope you have subscribed please kindly subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and do not forget to put on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you for watching see you in my next video bye